Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to convert binary to grey code using your own function in MATLAB app designer in MATLAB 23a. So let's begin. Before I get into the code, I will quickly go, get it through what is grey code. So grey code is a kind of binary code uh, invented by Mr. Frank Gray and yeah, details you can go through in this Wikipedia. However, I will just quickly scroll down and show you some samples which we will be also trying in our code. So if your decimal value is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so and so forth. So binary values are listed here and grey code is listed here. In simple words, what is the difference between binary and grey code? In grey code in any subsequent numbers is at max one bit which is changed. So say for example here between 1 and 2 only this second bit is changed. Between this and this the first bit is changed and so and so forth. So we will try to see how we can produce the same thing in MATLAB. Moreover, in MATLAB, uh, if I start, so previously uh, they used to give a function called bin to gray that used to make it very easy. However, no, that is no more available. So we may have to write our own function. So let me begin. So first, I'll create a app designer, a very simple uh, yeah, design. So I'll create a blank app. Click on this. Let it come up. Yeah. First, we'll save it. We can give it any name, say for example, bin to gray app designer. Make sure you don't give bin and uh, this same uh, name, otherwise it may cause problem. Oh uh, yeah, uh, because of override uh, in the, of which particular function is found first. Anyway, so once our uh, app designer is created, so first let's create the design over here. So what we'll do is we'll take one of this edit field, right? So an integer will take it in a decimal format. So say for example, uh, I'll name it as input the decimal, yeah, to be converted, of course, and uh, and okay. So I think I should yeah, and I will put a button here just beside this to convert. So I'll name this button as where is the name? Yeah, here. Yeah, so name is convert and I will then just put to text label to show me output so either I can put this uh, text label also or probably I will do one thing I will put this only edit field uh, because yeah that's it and I will have to put two one is for binary and the other one is for gray gray code yeah so this will for gray code sorry I can change this as Perfect. Now, in this button on click uh, callback, so what I'll do is I'll go here and add a button, push the call back, and over here we can do our main coding. So let's start. So first, what we'll do is we'll read the input data. So for that, we'll probably do x equals to app dot input. So yeah, this field and value and probably yeah index one. So this will get me the input data from my this particular uh, box whatever the user enters and then what I'll do is I'll convert it into a fixed point in the fi uh, method. So what I can do is I can name it as uh, binary underscore value equals to fi, fi is a method which can convert so first input will be x and then uh, uh, probably 0 is for sign and unsigned and then uh, number of uh, digits and uh, yeah last can be yes this is an optional field I can quickly take you to the documentation of uh, fi just to show you what I mean here so I will go here and I have just open it here so it constructs a fixed point so I am using this particular uh, syntax where s is for sign and um, uh, w is for width and uh, yeah and uh, fraction length and all so and so forth okay so i'll just switch back to my code here so once i have the binary value then i can use this to convert to my uh gray code so for that what i can say, do is I can gray underscore code and i can use okay so gray code of course you can use that method what i showed uh, however since that is not available so what we'll do is we'll use the uh exact logic of converting into the grey code. So I can quickly go to my uh, this part again uh, Wikipedia. So if you scroll down here they also give the logic somewhere. 
that how to convert into the grade code so this is scroll down and over here so this is the logic what they are giving so what we have to do is we have to basically do an exclusive or between the number the input number and with a right shift operation so that's what we will be doing in our code so first let's do a exclusive or so that is basically bit wise x or and the first input will be our input itself what is this bit value so control c control v and then the second one will be a uh, shifted so we have to shift this again uh, bit wise so we can shift it to right and here what i can do is i can just this will be the and shift it by one that's what it said right so once i have these values what i can do is i can assign it to the respective edit uh, field so yeah so now if to display it what we can do is, is of course first one we'll choose the binary code edit field which was the first one and in this we can set the value equals to our binary value right so but as as i know this will be in the fixed point format so we may have to change it to bin uh, binary format so that what we can do is we can use bin method simple and uh, yeah, like this just to solve the problem however this will also return in the character format right the string format so we may have to convert it into a double uh, so what we can simply do is we can use string to double and yeah no sorry about that So similarly, what we can do is we can use this for the other one, gray code. So I can use gray code field and instead of input as a binary over here, the input will be gray. So I think that's all. Let me run this code quickly and see how it comes up, how the app comes up. So by default, it's 0, 0. Okay. Let me give some value, 3. Perfect. So there's some value, some output where binary code is 1, 1 and output gray code is 1, 0. Let me increase this to something else, 8. But okay, I can do one thing, wait. Let me bring up my this Wikipedia chart uh, over there with the, all the numbers. Yeah, so I'll keep it open and let me quickly switch here so that we can compare whether our output is correct or not. So for 8, yeah, it seems correct. It seems correct, 1, 1, double, 0. Uh, now let me do 9. Perfect. Let me do what uh, this is correct. Let me do 2. 1, 0 and 1, 1, correct, let me do what, 10, perfect, correct, yeah, so you can play with this uh, number as much as you want, so all of this seems to be correct here, yeah, probably I can go for 14, yeah, it's absolutely correct, okay, so that's all I wanted to show you, uh, that how easy it is uh, to create this uh, code, uh, even if that method is no more uh, supported you can write your own method it's just two lines of method here uh, two lines of code here you have to write you have to first convert your input into a binary so by this fi uh, function you can do it first one is input second one is zero is for unsigned one is for signed so by default signed so you should convert it into unsigned integer or unsigned uh, binary value which we'll be using and then you can use this uh, algorithm or logic what is explained in the Wikipedia. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And